Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with today's trading action. All right, pretty frustrating markets, right? We've got some external factors. The uh, you know the whole situation with the uh, hurricane coming up into uh, Florida should hit later or to, during the day in the North American session. Uh, hopefully, the reports here just on the map sort of looks like a Category Three, so that could be a good outcome, especially for our support team who are based right on the track of that uh, hurricane. Now, just looking at the markets, right? As I said, it's just frustrating. We got the the uh, the Middle Eastern event has pushed the dollar up. Uh, stronger non-farm payrolls. We've got the um, obviously this hurricane waiting to hit the US as well. It's like everything is just having a breather. We've we've had the big move. Okay, the dollar has rallied with all those culminating events, but we are sort of just sitting here, sort of waiting for something to happen. Now. We did have the RBNZ, they cut by half percent. Now, that was largely factored in. So the Kiwi, well, it sort of went down about 30 or 40 points. Uh, but don't get too excited about getting short Kiwi because that was really factored in, okay? Just looking at, having a quick look at the news. I mean, the Kiwi is pretty much the only news in the market all day. Um, China's scorching rally takes a breather, of course. You know, they've come out with um, a whole range of things. And you've got to think that a uh, big surge in the equity markets, okay, was uh, a little bit of a, a one-off situation. So we could see that sort of roll back. But there's not a lot to be sort of looking at just at the moment. If anything, with the interest rate probabilities of the uh, sort of the major sort of G8, okay, we're starting to get back to normality. And what I'm talking about is now 0.25% um, cuts is the way to go. Um you know what, the RBNZ is sort of like still looking at uh, potentially another half percent cut um, on the sort of end of November. So we'll see how that plays out. Just having a look at the longer term trends, right? This is probably where you need to come back to because if you can get lost on the hourly charts, right? Now, there have been a, a few little breaks here on some of these, but you know what, all things being equal, I mean, they, some of them are trading sideways, but over the long term, these things are all sort of starting to edge higher. And the dollar was edging down. So this is where we get a bit of a stalemate in the markets. You've got long-term strategy or trends, I should say, as opposed to short-term trends uh, sort of colliding. And that's sort of creating a bit, a bit of, well, if I don't repeat myself, a bit of confusion in the markets. Now, just having a look where we are today, you've got the weekly crude stocks. Probably uh, a worthy number considering uh, the number of... Um, uh, refineries that were sort of shut down in the Gulf of Mexico. And obviously with oil, it is a major uh, like thing at the moment with the uh, this whole hurricane hitting the US, right? It sort of went from 65 bucks, um, just having a look here, up to like, what, almost 78 bucks. A little, as the storm sort of pulls back a bit to a Category 3 from a Category 5, you can see oil falling a bit. So the the oil price will move if that hurricane intensifies right the price of oil will continue to rally if it if it uh, drops well then you're going to see uh, oil fall right and that's where you'll see uh dollar cad um you know start to come back a bit anyway it's it's like a you know trading the hurricanes and things like that you've got to be really on your game right so it can be a bit of fun more than anything else but uh, just keep a close eye on that. So crude stocks, keep an eye as we go through that day. I mean, there's not much else coming out. And you know what? We do have the very active uh, core CPI numbers out of uh, the US on Thursday. That's probably the main focus for the markets. And with all these other ge geopolitical events, right, the markets or well, traders are sitting there thinking, right, what are we supposed to be doing here? Because you know what? We've seen a big surge in the dollar is it going to come back? Is it going to fall? Wait, let's wait and see what happens after the hurricane uh, goes through Florida. Hopefully, as I said, you're not seeing much news out of the uh, Middle East now, right? That's sort of the market's becoming desensitized to that. And that may lead us into, you know what? Let's go back to the US fundamentals. And that's what hopefully the US CPI numbers can do for us on Thursday. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me for the moment. Uh, I tell you what, look at that trending market there in uh, dollar cat. I just can't help myself. Um, you've got to be having a look at that. Uh, like you, you, you'd love to see some uh, dollar weakness uh, and a little bit of CAD strength. And that would be uh, the, you know, 
a, a reduction or that once that uh, hurricane lead, leaves the Gulf of Mexico, all the refineries will come back online. It's good for oil, okay? It's good for dollar CAD. So we'll see um, see what happens there. But uh, at the moment, it's a bit of a cat and mouse game. Okay, so frustrating markets. Just hang in there. I'm sure things will clear up uh, very shortly. Good luck, traders. Cheerio.